What's going on, y'all? So listen. How to Get Away with Murder, the season finale, baby. So last week, it ended with a car being overturned. It's been an accident. We don't know who the fuck is in the car. Everybody was on Twitter like, yeah, bitch, Bonnie dead. I said, no, bitch, she ain't, okay? Bonnie is one of them characters that you can't get away with. Uh-uh. I, if Bonnie goes, Bonnie ain't on no Amanda Tanner set, okay? Amanda Tanner, she was in uh, How to Get Away with Murder. She was in the first season, and she was dead in the first season, okay? No, Bonnie gonna be here till the end, all right? Or at least till the second to the last um ep uh, season, okay? But, um... I was like, who the fuck is it, though? Because when the episode starts off, you know, we see this car overturn. We see and we hear the coroner or, or the um, the lady in the morgue or whoever you want to call him. Coroner. No, no, coroner is the person that go get the body and stuff. The mortician or whatever the fuck. Bitch, we hear the doctor up there talking, you know, about all the fractures, all the injuries done to the body, you know, and then we see Frank up in Laurel's apartment trying to figure out where the fuck this bitch at, trying to find out where she, you know, do she got a phone on, tracking her phone on the computer, kind of find out the phone is offline. He worried, he worried, he worried, and all of a sudden he turns around, Laurel comes in there, and he was like, where the hell have you been? She was like, I was over there talking to my mama. What's going on? Her phone was off. Her phone had died. So she like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And then we see Connor and Oliver sitting there looking at TV. And um, I think Connor or something said, why does this always keep, why does this keep happening to us? Okay. Then we see Nate is standing in the garage. Um, and we see Annalise is, you know, she's rushing up the parking garage, okay, to meet somebody, and it's Nate, and she was like, oh my god, what did they find out, is it foul, he said they thinking it's foul play, okay, and it was like, you gotta be careful, how we gonna find out who did this, and, you know, how we gonna go about this, he was like, don't worry, I got my ways, I can figure it out, um, she was like, no, you gotta be careful, because, bitch, you might be next, you know, he might, they might be on to us, and all this shit, Basically, Bonnie come up in there and was like, it had to be um Jorge. You know, he probably was tracking us when I um sent you that voicemail and all that shit to tell you what was going on. Bitch come to find out who the fuck the body is. I dead ass when I was listening to the fractures and all this stuff. My my mind said, bitch, please don't let it be Tegan, okay? I was just for some reason it's like, you know, they killing off the black folks. <laughs> First West, not Tegan. I said, no, don't do this. Don't do this to us, okay? We still trying to recover. We don't need another one, okay? Black Lives Matter. Well, in this case, it wasn't Tegan. It wasn't Bonnie. It wasn't under the Keaton five. Thank you. Okay, bitch, who the fuck was it? It was Denver. I didn't see that shit coming because last week he said either to Jorge, either you take care of Bonnie or I'm going to take care of that bitch. And I guess Jorge said, no, bitch, we're going to take care of your ass. I said, well, shit. Okay. Next thing you know, the kids are, you know, um, at Connor's new apartment. And this is after the whole thing. No, at um, Annalise's apartment because Annalise wanted them to come over there. They had to talk. Um, of course, Asher is pissed off at, um, you know, uh, what that girl named Michaela. He's just over her. You stabbed me in the heart. You know what I'm saying? He just calling her. He was like, you are a social climbing, backstabbing, all about yourself. She said, bitch, don't call me no bitch. He said, you already did it for me. I said, oh, that's one way to go. That's one way to go. But, um, back at Annalise's apartment, they trying to figure out what's going to happen, Okay. This whole thing with the um, Simon thing and, you know, now you got Denver dead. You got, um, you know, they trying to figure out how are they going to go about this. Um, you know, they know that Jorge, they all saying that Jorge and, you know, Laurel's mom has something to do with it. The parents are like terrorists. What are we going to do? And at least said, y'all need to fucking chill. And what we really need to do, we believe it or not. And it's so unfortunate that it comes down to, we got to believe in each other. Okay. We got to stick with each other to get through this shit. All right. And at this moment... Jorge calls Laurel asking where the fuck the mama at. And he was like, bitch, you probably sitting right there next to her. He was like, no, I'm not sitting next to her. I'm actually in the hospital looking at your son, okay? And she was like, bitch, we got, we ain't got the hard drives, okay? You know, all this stuff. 
and they threatening each other. It was like, you know, I haven't heard from your mom. And Elise is like, Lord, what the fuck you do with the mama? Bitch, I didn't do shit to her, okay? I mean, I said some words to her, but they was just words. I ain't touched the bitch, you know? I, I confronted her. I, she was like, what did you say? I mean, I told the bitch to go kill herself. She was like, bitch, why would you tell somebody who has mental issues to go kill himself? It's not just words. She was like, I mean, I didn't mean it literal, so, you know, calm the fuck down. So, this whole thing with Oliver, you know, she gonna put, um, not Oliver, she's gonna put, uh, Simon and Michaela on the Oliver situation, you know, to figure that out. And when, bitch, when they came up in there, <laughs> Simon said, uh, uh, tell him to get out. <laughs> tell him to get out, okay? Because, you know, Oliver is supposed to be... The dude that Simon was here for, Simon is hurt because he feels played. And, you know, um, he played, he felt like he played up on his sexuality. He probably did, you know. And that's not really what Simon, or I should say Oliver wanted to do, but he was doing what Annalise and them, the, what was best for the kids. Okay, that's what it was. And they, Oliver, Simon's supposed to get this whistleblower deal. This is what's going to get him this visa to stay in the country. He's waiting on the plan. He's waiting on, you know, the contract and the list and all this stuff that's going to hammer out all his, how he going to go about this. Because the whole thing is they're going to give the drive to, um, once they find a the drive, because at first they couldn't find a the drive. Then, um, you know, Nate, he goes to the computer and he's looking in and he was like, okay, this case, this case, he was looking through some old cases and it was this Galvin case. And, you know, he goes to the storage locker that has some evidence for it because it's a case that he worked in the past, like 10 years ago. It was a cold case. And he opens up the locker. Then he comes over there and he said he found this. And it was a phone. And Laura was like, okay, that's the phone that I gave to him. Um, You know, that's Dominic's phone. I gave that to Denver. And it was like, I also found this. He has the hard drive, okay? So now everybody is geeked the fuck up. Meanwhile, back at the DA's office, um, Denver Jr., the one that called Bonnie out on her shit, that said, bitch, now see, I would have been cool with it, but see, your ass came up in here smiling and shit, so then I knew some shit was going on, okay, you fake ass bitch, you ain't gonna fool me. He giving this speech, right, you know, Denver was such a big access to the goddamn um, firm, and, you know, he kept everything going, and to lose a guy like him. It's really, I said, bitch, I know you really, was you fucking him? <laughs> like, he was getting dead ass emotional because I truly don't believe that they was really that close. Okay, he probably thought he was closer to him than um, Denver thought he was closer to them. Okay, that's, 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 no, nah, girl, calm down. And then he goes in there uh, to Bonnie thinking, was like, you know, I know we got off at the wrong foot, but I can't run this office by myself. So, you know, maybe we need to just stop all our bullshit and just go ahead and be friends because I need a person like you to be helping me. I said, oh, now you need to help, huh? So, you know, um, when they find a the hard drive and all that shit, they do all that. Uh, next thing you know, Laura will get notified that they want to come get her. Okay, they want her, the FBI want to question her and all that shit. So, of course, Annalise is going to take Laurel down there, um, you know, and while she go down there, um, before, no, before they go down there to the FBI, Simon, they, uh, um, um, Michaela is still in the hospital with Simon. She's looking on her, um, you know, phone, texting Oliver, what's up, anything new and all that shit. He like, what's going on? So, um, what's happening? What's the update? And she was like, he was like, everything okay? She was like, yes. And he was like, you know what? There you go with that fake ass smile that you always give when shit ain't right. And she was like, okay, true tea, bitch. <sighs> Asher broke up with me. And he was like, you're lying. Now, see, I would believe it. It'd be more believable if you would have broke up with him. But for him to say that, for you to say that Asher broke up with you, no, I'm not buying that bullshit. So you can come again. And she was like, no, bitch, I'm dead ass serious. Like, dead ass. And it was like, you know what? You're lying and you're stalling. That's what you're doing. So I need to see that there was actual some corruption going on in Antares on them files, okay? I need to see... Uh, evidence of that, all right, or else um, I'm finna blow this shit up, okay, and at least need to show me something, so she texting them, telling them, bitch, y'all need to find something, Laura was trying to go through the files to find some stuff that, um, 
them companies or whatever that the father wanted to sign her name onto. You know what I'm saying? And it's going tedious, okay? They don't know where the shit at. And um, Annalise was like, you know, fuck this shit. We're going to go to the source right about now. And it was like, what, what, where they go to? They go to Tegan, bitch. Tegan come, we see this badass bitch coming down the walkway. I said, you know what? It's just the way that, I don't know. Because the FBI was talking to Laurel. Uh, Annalise was sitting there with Laurel, you know. She was like, why are you trying to talk to Laurel and all this shit? That's because... Um, you know, she was Denver's intern and all that, but so that means you interviewing all of Denver's intern. Why you just pull her out the bunch? Well, she was the last person who was speaking to him and was like, what did y'all have this, um, late night conversation about? And it was like, I called, you know, well, basically what happened was he called me in and I'm thinking that we was talking, going to be talking about me coming back from maternity, um, my maternity leave and things like that. But no, he was asking me about my father. And this was strange because I haven't even spoken to my father because we're going through this custody case. Your father, custody of who? My baby, bitch. What you think? And it was like, you know, having all these questions. The lady was stumped. Okay. The lady, FBI lady was stumped. But, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, when they couldn't find them files, bitch, and they went over there to Tegan, all right? And at least was trying to put Tegan up on some game, bitch, you know? Um, we got the files, okay? We got the hard drives, and we ain't find nothing corrupt on there yet. She was like, I told you, because ain't nothing up there to find. Because, mind you, Tegan is tired. Tegan is tired of them, all right? Tegan is tired of Jorge, but she want that money, and she want her life. Tegan is tired of Michaela. And Tegan is tired of Annalise. And Tegan is tired of all this bullshit. She came up in there and she said, well, I see why Michaela is the way that she is. Because, bitch, she learned that stupid shit from you. You ain't a good teacher, bitch. She was like, I'm looking for them files. You ain't going to find nothing bad in there. Of course, we ain't going to find nothing bad on the surface because you know exactly where the fuck the shit is, okay? Let me tell you something. You keep on fucking with these people. You see what they was doing. Denver was on the take with Jorge, all right? You want that shit to happen to your ass, okay? You need to come over to our side and we need to you, let us help your ass we you help us we help you tegan said get the fuck up out of here i said tegan <laughs> god damn bitch god damn and it just you know what i was about to say earlier it's like when she was walking and it's so crazy the contrast that you have this whole white you know all white fucking space and then with her black dress and her you know, just coming through, just it just made it just even more better. I said, come on now. That's what you wanted to do. You wanted to highlight this sister. Go ahead and highlight a bitch. So, you know, Nate over there talking to Bonnie and was like, you know, I ain't tell Annalise and them this, but when I went in that um drawer, uh, I found some files, okay? He got, Denver had some shit on everybody. It was like, did he have something on you? No, because I guess he thought I was boring. But, you know, at this point, Bonnie was like, well, I already knew he had, he was keeping track for us. So that was that, um, you know, and he claimed that he destroyed him. Then you got Michaela meeting up with, um, Annalise trying to see what's going on. And she was like, why the fuck are you out here? You supposed to be in there with Simon. She was like, that bitch is asleep. Okay. He knocked the fuck out and they trying to figure out what exactly it is that they need to do. Um, at this point, Michaela was like, deport that motherfucker, okay? And this is how we end all this shit. And at said, this is not what we do. We're not going to send no gay men to Pakistan, okay? So he can get killed over there because of his sexuality and all that shit. And, you know, Michaela, <sighs> Michaela was staring at Simon like she was about to kill that motherfucker. And I said, step the fuck away, bitch. You got Asher over there. You know, going through the motions and shit, acting like he really finna revenge fuck somebody on the little date nap and shit. And Oliver was like, you know what? Oliver and Frank were like, you need to stop, okay? Because you acting like a little fucking douche, all right? And Oliver said, you mad at her, but you still, you probably more mad at yourself because you want to forgive her. That's all that it is, and you still in love with her. And he said, it's not the fact that she lied. Um, no, that she fucked around. It's not the sex that hurt. It's the fact that she lied about it. And then, you know, kind of had to interject and be like, you know, we lie about a lot of things just to, um, you know, protect the ones that we love, okay? And Oliver looked at him like, bitch, what you lied about? She was like, I mean, I ain't cheap, but I did lie. The reason why I, di I didn't just drop out of law school, I failed out, okay? And that's what Annalise had caught and told him earlier, you know, 
um, because he was feeling some type of way still about this whole class action. So when she was like, I, I called you out, I gave you your props and not because I needed to, but because you to get your ass back into law school. Cause I know everything. Cause he was like, how you know what went on? Bitch, I know everything. I said, Oh, you know, Laura will get confronted by Frank. Frank was like, bitch, I went to the hotel to see if anything was going on. Your mama left without a trace. The maids ain't see her, nothing. Now, if I go somewhere else and I look, is there something that I need to know? Is it something that I need to be looking for? She said, no, bitch, I ain't the one that's the sociopath. I said, you know what, girl? Okay. So they get Laurel's phone and call the daddy. And he was like, he thinking that it's Laurel and it's Annalise. Annalise go meet up with Jorge and was like, look, we got the hard drive. Here's the hard drive. Um, he was like, how do I know it ain't no other copies? You can check our computers because you're doing that shit already. All I need you to do is to sign this paper right here, relinquish custody of that child, give it back to Laurel. And, um, you know, we'll be done with this shit and recant your statement, statements in the court case against her. And he was like, why the fuck would I do that? Okay. Why the fuck would I do that? He was like, I'm looking for my ex, my wife. She was like, your ex-wife. And basically, she told him to move the fuck on. And he was like, you will never understand what it feels like to have somebody that you raised, um, you know, get taken away from you and looking up to somebody else. She was like, bitch, I know. He was like, no, you don't know. Because, bitch, your baby was born dead. I said, oh, why the fuck they do this shit? You know, just rude as shit. And he was like, you know, I love Laura. I protected her. She was the shy girl when she was growing up. And I protected her from my mom because her mama was crazy as hell and all this shit. He just t making it seem like he father of the year and he so hurt. And, um, you know, he had his child taken away from him and, and, and by a monster like you. And mind you, earlier he called Annalise and them a cult. <laughs> you know, like he wants this baby to be um raised up in this little cult that y'all got. I said, you know what? You saw to you and your feelings and Annalise had to put a check on him. Bitch, I do know what that's feeling like because you took Wes from me. And you over here doing this shit to your daughter. You lost your daughter already. You lost your daughter once you killed the person that she loved. The father of her child, okay? You lost your daughter when you took her child. You lost your daughter while you doing all this shit, taking her to court and everything. You ain't ever going to get that bitch back, okay? So why don't you just give her her child and sign this shit and call it a goddamn day? Take a nap, bitch. I was like... So Jorge didn't sign the papers because Laurel and Frank is in the hospital and they waiting to pick up Lil C. I said, all right, Laurel get her baby. I could be happy about that, okay? Fuck Laurel, but still she get her baby. You know, what her daddy was doing was fucked up to her. So, you know, that's cute and all. And he come out... And he looking and was like, um, it's done and all that shit. He trying to talk. Laura looking like the fuck you, we ain't got shit to talk about. And then when she get the baby, they telling her all the instructions and stuff. And he like, bitch, you know, where's your mama? Okay. She was like, first of all, I don't know where she's at because A, she's dead to me and B, so the fuck are you? He looked defeated as shit. And I said, was it worth it? No. Like, come on, Jorge. You had to think that this was not going to work out the way that you wanted to work out. You could not possibly have thought that you was going to be able to develop a relationship with Laurel after what you did. After she found out. You cannot think that this woman... Your daughter working with Annalise Keating and you know how Annalise is, okay? You've come to know how this bitch is, that they were not going to find out the truth behind Wes. And that once they found out that your daughter was going to forgive you, that your daughter was going to live happily ever after with you. No, that's not how this world works, boo-boo, okay? It's consequences for actions. And then, you know, Frank was like, come on, y'all, let's hurry up and get him out of here because he ain't got no, um, you know, he don't suspect nothing. I was like, what y'all finna do? Bitch, Jorge is outside walking and all these FBI agents and shit come out the door and was like, Jorge Castillo, you are under arrest. Um, you had a right to remain silent and everything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. Do you understand the stuff that we've saying? I said, bitch, what happened? Girl, come to find out Tegan fucking went to that FBI lady and gave them all the fucking evidence against him. I said, bitch, wait a minute. Backtrack how this happened. So back when um, Annalise came over there to talk to her and she told her to get the hell out because she was like, girl, this is not worth dying for, okay? She was like, let me tell you something. 
bitch, you are fucking attorney, so you should know this, that there is uh, a relationship between the client and the attorney, and you can't, you know, it's a confidential thing, all right? Mind you, the whole time she looking over there while she giving off this rule and shit that Annalise already fucking know, like, she dumb, okay? Um, she going to get the notepad and she writing some shit and she holds it up and it says, I'm in. So basically they got that office bug. That's what I saw from that. And she was saying the stuff so that they can hear that shit. And so that she won't be held accountable and saying that she broke the law and all that. And, um, you know, she broke attorney client privilege and, and you, cause you can get disbarred and shit like that and suspended. So she said, bitch, I'm in. She went down there, gave them the evidence. She said, this ain't going to blow back on me, is it? No, girl, you know, you can go back to your law firm. Everything, the anonymous tip going to be listed as Jane Doe. Ain't nobody going to know shit. And I was like, oh, shit. Next thing you know, they was, um, you know, fixing up the little baby room for, um, you know, the girl. And then they looking at the news report saying that, you know, the daddy got arrested for a whole bunch of charges, including first degree murder. And then, you know, they was like, so we got this done. What about Simon? Okay. And at least that Bonnie took care of Simon. And then, um, what that girl said, Michaela said, no, I took care. I took care of him. I basically called ICE. I said, bitch, Michaela, you know what? I'm not even fucking mad. At this point, I'm not mad. I had, At first, I was like, God damn it, Michaela. You can't just let shit go. Let, let Annalise listen to her for once, okay? But in this moment, I was on Michaela's side, okay? First of all, I don't give a fuck about Simon. Never have, never will. Second of all, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and he shouldn't have been up there snooping around. That was on him. He wouldn't have been in this situation. Third of all, you know, they was going to um, give him this deal that if he, you know, changed his statement and say that he brought the gun in, they was going to drop all the charges and sign his affidavit and all this shit. Um, Simon is sneaky and shady as fuck, okay? So that wouldn't work. And that is exactly what Michaela said. Michaela said, I had to do this because you know Simon would have hold, held this shit over our heads for a long time. And he's the type of sneaky ass bitch that would have did that. Michaela go in that kitchen with Annalisa. She was like, why the fuck you just can't do what you told? Bitch, you up here trying to beat me. So now that you, because she was like, the old Annalise would have did this and all this shit. Bitch, I ain't the old Annalise, okay? I done been through some things. I done elevated. She was like, well, bitch, I did it, okay? She was like, so now that you me, you got what you want? And she was like, no, bitch, I'm me. I said, oh, oh, Michaela, you better, okay. But I was still on Michaela's side. I would have, Sammy had to go. Sammy had to fucking go, and they came and got his ass, okay? And um, then Nate called her, and he was like, you know, um, yeah, Laurel got the baby and all that shit. He was like, oh, I thought I wouldn't, I would have been, I'm surprised you picked up because um, I thought your phone would have been blowing up by now. And she was like, what you talking about? Oh, so you haven't heard? And right at that moment, they on TV, it's a news conference saying that she won that case. And I said, yes, go on, bitch. So at the end of the episode, this shit just blew my mind. We got to discuss, okay? Listen. So, this finale, it wasn't that much. It tied up everything real nicely, and it segue. and I love the fact that they set this shit up for season five, because, bitch, I got questions, okay? And I'm pretty sure we all do. So, you know, Annalise is giving this little podcast interview about her winning the whole thing with the Supreme Court and giving these people um, a chance to get their freedom, to chance to get heard and try it all over again. And, you know, she started talking about families and reuniting them and how it affects the family and not just the person and all this shit. And, you know, Laurel, she's at Bonnie's house. That's where they staying at. Bonnie said, you can stay as long as you want. Bonnie is being nice as fuck, okay? It is eerie, all right? And I should have known some shit was finna go down, bitch. She told Laurel, you can stay here. She playing with the baby. She changing him. I said, since the fuck when you got motherly instincts like this, Bonnie? That was a clue right there, bitch, okay? Um, moving on from that, you know, Frank was supposed to go get some stuff for the kid. She was like, why you all in your button up? Oh, because the baby spit up on my other shit. Bitch kind of found out he going to Middleton College to try to, you know, do a little college tour. Try to, um, I guess, sign up to finish his degree or some shit like that. Bitch, while he was there. First of all, before we get to that one, Nate still had those files. Now, he just told Bonnie he got rid of them. He pulled all those files out and he went right to Bonnie's file. And Bonnie's 
you know, they looked at her criminal record, got her old thing, got all the court clippings or whatever about her and some, um, you know, dude, congressman or whatever. And I'm trying to think back when they show in the first half of this season, I think when she was on in the court and was it a black man there? I think it was a black man. Okay. That was on trial at that moment. Some black man was sitting there, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody give me the episode so I can go back and look at it. Cause bitch, this I just put the shit together. All of a sudden, um, at the fucking college tour thing, we hear this dude like, "Yo, give me your number. You know, you want to talk to me and all this shit." Mind you, I know who he is. I follow him on um Instagram and shit like that. He was in Drumline too. Okay, I was like, I remember them cat ass anywhere. Bitch, I was sitting here like, what the fuck? Because on that paper, one of those papers that was in Bonnie's file, um, that um, you know, Nate was looking at, it was a DNA thing, and it said DNA 100% match, 100% match, 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 and then down at the bottom it said child alive question mark. I said the fuck. Y'all will not have Bonnie out here still with the kid. Because remember when they was doing the court case, she didn't know if the child was dead or not. Because when she gave birth, she didn't know. They knocked her ass out and took the baby. And she don't know whether it was dead or anything. So the baby is alive. Frank fucking knows that the baby is alive. Because he was like, he get on the phone and he was like, her kid here. She They were talking about, um, his name is Gabrielle Maddox. Bitch, Gabriel Maddox. He said the kid is here. And I'm sitting here like, the way he said it is as if he already knew that the kid was still alive. Oh, my goodness. Mind you, she did have a baby young. Okay? So, that, because at first I was like, no, nah, the age ain't um acting out, signing up. But I forgot her daddy was pimping her out. Okay? And she did get pregnant real young. You know? So, I was like, oh, my God. It's adding the fuck up. Bonnie has a half breed out here just like Wes. So that's why she can for baby West. Bitch, she getting all maternal and shit. She sitting in the office playing on Bumble and, 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 and come to find out Denver Jr. fucking liked her. She gonna like him back. And then he looking like, and she like, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm creeped out. Okay, they kind of disturbed my soul a little bit to see her gush and smile like that. Because I'm used to sad, depressed Bonnie. This with the light around her Bonnie, this air of thinking everything is going to be all good. And we all out of the clear and we can go do our lives. No, bitch. No, the fuck y'all can't. I said, ain't this some shit? Annalise playing with the little baby. Uh, Laurel gets in the shower. Mind you, Annalise said she the god mama. Okay, girl. You want to deal with that bitch. Um, She got scratches on her arm. Mind you, she woke up from a dream. Okay, a nightmare or whatever. And I'm like, did you scratch yourself? I low-key think that the daddy was telling the truth about Bonnie being cra uh, uh, um, Laurel got some issues, too. But, bitch, Bonnie got a kid. Oh, Bonnie got a kid that's still alive, I should say, okay? That is why when you watch How to Get Away with Murder, you have got to watch every single fucking detail. And you got to keep that shit in your mind because some shit going to come back and it's going to connect the dots. Bitch, I can't wait till next season. I can't wait to see how they do this. Oof, oof, oof. Y'all tell me how y'all feel, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.